Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lexi and today we're going to be exploring the world of expensive taste because apparently that's a planet that I live on. Um, yes, I'm obsessed with luxury handbags and SLGs, but apparently I just can't resist the temptation to just spend all of my money. Anywho, this popped up on the Sephora annual sale and it's something that I had wanted to try and was interested in, but I couldn't get myself to spend $499 like <clears throat> on a straightener and what we're talking about is the Dyson Krell straightener um but when the sale came up and it was 20% off I was like all right let's try it and honestly I'm gonna be so honest with you I hope I hate it I really do um because this is so much money for a straightener although it is wireless which is like a huge pro for me because like do you see this mane this needs all the help it can get with like angles and whatnot um but we're gonna test it out today and hopefully we hate it and we can return it and we can just put that four hundred dollars back in our pockets um but one thing i noticed when i was because i put it to charge last night so it came yesterday i put it to charge overnight because i want to see i want to test out like the actual battery life i'm going to time it um and what i noticed is when you pop it open so you just slide this I don't even know if you can see, probably not, but there's already a chip on the ceramic. Yeah, see right there? That is so annoying. Ugh. All right, well, hopefully the functionality is better than the aesthetic, although it is really pretty and it's pink, which I'm I'm obsessed with. Um, but another cool thing is that it comes with this little, ew, don't look at my nails. Um, plain so you like pop out this portion which detaches the battery um because it's like a lithium battery so if you want to fly with it just pop that out and it makes it safe for flight but anyhow let's turn this on okay full battery good start off to a good start so ooh, so there's three temperatures there's 330 365 and 410 all right so let me just give you a backstory in my hair i have a mane curly thick like very coarse hair and um yeah last night I got out of the shower I brushed my hair to what would appear to be straight even though it would just immediately curl back up twisted it Ooh, it's ready I guess it's heated up um so I twisted my hair and slept with it in a bun so this is the outcome of letting it dry like that um so <sighs> I guess I'm curious. I've never been able to get my hair straight with 330 degrees. So let's just test that out because that would be nice. Another thing that I really liked um, about the Dyson um, straightener is that it's supposed to be like healthier for your hair. And all throughout high school and college, I straightened my hair like every day and it destroyed my curls. So I kind of like this. I really do hope it helps my hair. And if not, she going back so generally speaking I I mean okay I have a lot of hair so I have to section my hair anyway and see it's definitely not as curly as it would be if I just like let air dry though attempting to make it a little bit straighter um but let's just brush it out All right, and let's see how this goes. All right, well, that's annoying because I haven't even used it yet and it's already like depleting the battery. So not sure I have high hopes for this, but let's try it. Huh? I mean, it's interesting because it feels like it's like gripping my hair. And if you look at it like inside the plate, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but there's like little steps that appear to like grip your hair better. All right, I mean, it's definitely straightening it and it's on the lowest heat, but I wouldn't say it's like, I mean, okay, it's pretty good. Okay, let's see. Okay, what's interesting is like when I straighten my hair with a normal straightener, 
I can't even touch my hair after because it's so hot, but it's like cool to the touch. I like that. Okay. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good. Hmm. All right, you know what? We're going to turn this baby up. Let's see what happens. Hmm. I like the little ding. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I'm so curious how they got it to like when you straighten your hair, you can actually just touch it like your hair is cool. What an enigma. All right, so we're gonna straighten the rest of my hair and we're gonna come back. Okay, so it's been less than 15 minutes and I already got notification that the battery is running low, which is so annoying because like obviously I'm nowhere near done. Um, so I'm going to get the charger because I guess one of the good parts of this is you can use it with the charger plugged in. It's just like a magnetic attachment. Um, and I'll let you know how I like it that way. But some initial thoughts. Um, Okay, so pro, I love that it doesn't make my hair very hot. Um, it does feel like softer than it does when I normally straighten it. Um, and then I guess like I had higher expectations um, and maybe it would work if I put it on the highest heat, but I don't really want to like have that much heat on my hair. But it, it's like it's taking as long as it would with an, a normal straightener. And I can't get a piece I guess if I took like a small enough section and just like ran through it slowly and straighten it but like I'm having to go over the same area more than once um which I guess isn't a huge deal because that's what I do with my straightener today but I do like how my hair feels um so I'm gonna go get the charger and we'll be right back so I'm gonna plug this into the bottom and it's charging so Let's see if we can get the rest of this done. Okay, so this is really annoying. I'm trying to use this while plugged in and it keeps like turning off. So I guess I'm just going to look like a crazy person until this charges and I can finish my hair. Um, but yeah, it's been over 20 minutes at this point and I'm still not done, which is on par with what a, a normal straightener would do. It usually takes me about 30 minutes or so to straighten my hair. So um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to let this charge for a little bit and then I'll come back to you. I'm back and my hair is looking good it honestly I have never straightened my hair anymore because I'm trying to like let it grow but I forget how good it looks hmm. it, it's pretty like legit like it's very shiny it's really smooth like can you see this So, I really like it, but I do have some thoughts. Um, one, it took me almost 27 minutes to straighten my hair. So, that's not much different. It, it's a little bit less, honestly, but it's not 
too much different than my normal straightener. And I use typically the Babyliss straightener. Insert pick here. Um, so, theoretically, I love this. If this had a longer battery life, I would be like singing its praises from the rooftop. But when you're someone with a lot of hair, someone who actually needs a straightener, like, why is it not lasting long enough to straighten my hair? It, I literally had to straighten half my hair, charge it for like 30 minutes, and then straighten the rest, and it was dying again. So, it's annoying. And when you're using the straightener plugged in, first of all, if it's dead, you need to let it charge. It's not like your phone where you can plug it in and continue to use it, which is incredibly annoying. Um, you need to plug it in, let it charge a little bit, and then you can continue using it while, um, while it's charging, but it doesn't really charge that well, so the battery continues to drain, and it just kind of seems pointless, so, um, don't love that, but let's list out the pros and cons. Pro, beautiful. Um, love that it's cordless, because that's super convenient for me, who's like, constantly behind my head trying to get the crimps out of like because I have very curly roots um so I love that uh it was easy to use it's very intuitive um it heats up quickly it doesn't leave your hair super hot so it does feel like it made it softer and healthier but cons it's heavy my hand is literally cramping and I feel like my forearm got like the best workout it's probably gotten in the last 25 years um and it dies so fast that's like the number one con and it's honestly I'm considering returning it for that reason alone why are you giving me a straightener that's like advertised to be cordless and so easy to use because of that functionality and then not giving me the battery life to support it you know I need more battery life Dyson no one from Dyson's ever going to watch this but if you do give me more battery life why is that so hard it's heavy enough to feel like it should be supporting uh, a longer battery life like literally my hand is I need to I need to go and rest it, it it's it's been put through a lot today so ultimately is it worth $500? Hell no. Hell no. I don't need, like, I had a hard time buying my straightener, which was like $150, but it heats up to 460 degrees and it, it can straighten my hair. But I got it at a discount, so I'm like, is it worth $400? Nah. Am I gonna keep it? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I? I mean, what I will say is that my hair feels a lot healthier. And I do enjoy that. It doesn't feel like as stuck to my head because I have to like continuously like go like this with a straightener to get my hair straight. Um, and it doesn't, one thing I do really like is when I straighten my hair, it like with a normal straightener breaks off like the top hairs and it's like sticking out normally and I need to like put hairspray to mat it down. Um, and it, that didn't happen with the straightener. So I do like that. <laughs> Hmm. But for $400? For $500? Hell no, this bitch would be going back. For $399 though? I don't know, I, I'm gonna have to think about it. If it had a longer battery life, no question. This would be like a good to go done forever product. But the fact that I have to straighten half my head, charge it for 30 minutes, straighten half my head again, that like adds like the total time for straightening my hair gets goes from 20 minutes to being like 60 minutes because you have to stop and then charge and then restart and I don't know would I recommend it here's my my thoughts if you have the disposable income this is a nice to have for sure it's a great straightener does it have its flaws yes absolutely should it have a longer battery life hell yes but it is a really good straightener. Like my hair feels better. It just like, the, it feels softer, it feels healthier. It doesn't feel damaged. Um, so I do like that. And I am so picky about straighteners. For, so for me to say that, that's huge. But 
if you are looking for your sh a first time straightener, don't get this one. Would I recommend my Babyliss one? 100%. That straightener is great. But the Dyson, if you have curly hair, if you have thick hair, if you have coarse hair, it's not going to last, the, a full battery is not going to last you an entire time that it takes you to straighten your hair. So, like, keep that in mind. If you have thin hair and you're just looking to, like, boom, 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 I'm done, good to go. Get the Dyson. But, like, then what's, what's the point, you know? You could just use, like, a cheap straightener from Target. All in all, buy it if you can afford it and you want it. Sure. If you're, like, saving up your money to get it, just watch this video in depth and, and think about it, truly, because I'm honestly considering returning it. I really am. And I went into this wanting to hate it so I could return it, but then as I started to straighten my hair, I felt myself being, like, disappointed because I was expecting more out of it, you know? So, I don't know. I guess you're just going to have to stay tuned to see if I keep it. But if this video didn't do it for you and you want to see some of my other videos, you should just subscribe to me here and, you know, join my little family. I put out videos at least once a week, if not more, and, you know, they're at least mildly entertaining, or I'd like to think so. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and yeah, come again. <laughs> Have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you next time.